struggle. The struggle is real right now. But I'm up right now. Because you're not right now. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I've been... I've been sitting in my car for about 20 minutes. Scrolling. Social media. I'm already at the gym. I'm just sitting in the parking lot. Contemplating my life. Don't take that too serious. But also there's some truth to that. <laughs> okay. I turned on the camera to use this as my primary source of motivation to catapult me. To get the f out of my car into the gym. Um, today was supposed to be an off day. I was supposed to... No, today is... Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. I'm bugging. Today is Saturday. I'm supposed to train today. I'm thinking today is Friday. Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right, all right, all right. Okay. So I'm going to go in there. Um, I'm going to do some squats, just a simple three by three. Simple three by three on bench. I'm going to use this primarily as my uh, tertiary slash power day just to get some additional volume. Now, it's going to be more or less a, a full body uh, session here for uh, for me, except for I'm not going to train back because I hit back yesterday. So um, let's get in there and see what we got going on. I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. And I pretty much gave you guys a in-depth review of live taste or life. What is it? Testing this in real time, essentially. Long story short, I was impressed. Uh, I do like the initial taste of it. However, the aftertaste is what I don't like about it. Um, but I would give it like a 7, 7.5. I think maybe the Warheads one is still probably my favorite. But um, yeah, let's get these squats in. Just doing a simple 3x3. 3x3 three three, uh, three three on squat, 3x3 three three on bench, and then probably working up to a top single on deadlifts, and then doing some back off uh, work. This is more or less, this is me kind of getting back into the single things with uh, the powerlifting. Uh, for the last couple of months, I just kind of been more or less leaning more towards hypertrophy. Um, got a little bit burnt out with, uh, let's just say life. Um, but now I feel this deep intrinsic desire to get my numbers to where they were at a couple of months ago. Uh, so I might do a series on trying to get back up to those numbers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Put this bad boy on. Oh my God. What in the boy? Oh, now nah, we're about to get. I've been eating a little bit more in a surplus lately. Your boy, your boy began a little thicker. <laughs> and uh, God damn. These things are feeling a little snug, which I like. I like being a little, a little thicker. Having a little more meat, a little more schmeat. Hey, what do you mean by that? <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Good luck. I ain't gonna be working up time crazy today, so. Again, I'm primarily just using this as a warm up for my deadlifts. These are going to be tempo squats, so they're going to be going to be a three second eccentric with a one second pause at the bottom. The one thing I hate about the squat rack is this is so thick right here. At any time, even if I'm just stepping back to clear the rack, I'm always hitting the side of the rack. Let's go ahead and get this work done. Whoa! 
a little elbow pain in there, a little key. I don't like that. It's a little surprise. I might have to, I might have to call it here. This bench is also extremely narrow, extremely narrow, which is not conducive. In Orlando, I ended up buying myself a bench press, which I keep my, at my at my home gym. Uh, but obviously, I'm not in Tampa. So I have to make do with this. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, that feels a little better, more stable. Okay. 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 No elbow pain. Yeah. I feel like now that I center myself a little bit by shifting a little bit more to the left, my elbow, my shoulder blades now like hanging off of the bench press. Uh, so that's good. That's good stuff. That actually uh, moved really well. I haven't deadlifted in quite some time. I think it's been it's been months, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. It's been no reason. I ended up getting injured um, after pulling 750 um, a couple months back, and then I just kind of got a little bit um, sidetracked with life, got overwhelmed. But it's really nice to be able to see how well your deadlift uh, ends up sticking. Anytime I detrain, my squat nearly goes down. Um, my bench press also goes down, but my deadlift always stays. So I was able to pull 675 um, and it moved pretty well. Um, I'm really happy with how that moved and I'm even happier with how the 635 ended up moving. Uh, you know, RPE almost nothing. I mean, I ended up scraping the, the shit out of my shins, but I'm really happy with how that ended up uh, moving. So kind of getting back into more so the powerlifting programming. I really want to bring up my numbers again, get back to my old numbers, um, my best numbers, which is a 605 squat, 370 bench, and then 750 deadlift. And I feel like I can get back up there pretty damn quick just because of how my life is more or less structured around training. So we're talking about you know, recovery, my, my eating habits, um, you know, my whole life pretty much revolves around training and creating content and coaching. So I'm able to make the necessary sacrifices and, and adjustments and this, and, and, and put in place the habits that I need to do in order to be able to get there in the most efficient and healthy manner possible. I did it last time I worked up to those numbers, I programmed for myself. Uh, it's only been a couple times that I've had a powerlifting coach. Um, my last coach was, was Brad Couliard, which is absolutely incredible coach. And I would highly recommend him for powerlifting as well. And I might hire him in the future again. I don't know. Uh, but right now I'm kind of getting back into a swing of things and, you know, um, just really want to get my numbers back up to, uh, I haven't competed since 2017, since I moved up to the 93s. And then I just kind of never competed again, really. And then I haven't competed again ever since. So I kind of want to. I'd like to get back up on a platform. Um, and it's not even a matter of, you know, stacking up against some of the guys that are in, you know, the top of the class or anything like that, but it's just more so for, for me, you know? So, oh, some accessory work and get out of here. Some uh, quad dominant accessory here. I'm just gonna go just because it's quick and efficient. Sometimes I pick movements just based on efficiency meaning that it's just like if i look over there and the you know the machine that i really want to use is taken i'm just like all right what's you know how can i replicate this movement you know what i mean so i'm gonna go ahead go with a single leg 
leg press, you know, lateral movement. I'm just gonna do eight reps or so here. Not crazy. Let that knee really come forward. Two. You got these, these hunters. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I tweet my QL, that last uh, deadlift for that 7, 675. That shit was schmoovin' though. Let's see what we're working with here. Sets of 15 here, real quick. Two sets of 15. Uh, put the feet of leg curl, some calves, and then we out of here. What's going on here? Man, I don't know what it, I don't know why I should get post workout. You can pull them. Yeah, man. I can see the end. I can see the end of this workout. I need to put an ND, variable ND filter on this so the shot's not overexposed and it doesn't ruin my bouquet, right? That nice little juicy, creamy blur that we get from these uh, Sigma lenses that go down to the 1.4 f-stops. Uh, but that's all she wrote. Overall, incredibly successful session that you guys saw earlier in the video i didn't want to i was contemplating my life man i was should i go in there should i not it was just you know a little bit of a dissociation today man just just trying to keep it real with you guys just you know those struggles but um you know we went in there and we had an absolutely incredible um we had an incredible training session i mean the tempo work went well uh the bench press work went well also and then, I mean, deadlifts, incredible. I mean, for not deadlifting over the last couple of months, I'm really happy with how deadlifts ended up going. Worked up to a top single of 675, um, which moved extremely well. Um, as you guys saw, I had to do a vertical because, you know, my main engagement, engagement is on Instagram. So I was like, I can't record it horizontal. But, um, and then the back off work, what do we do? 635 uh, for a back off set of, of three. That moved well and then my back off work um with the 570 something or 585 I, I think it was and then you know just some accessory work because we gotta we gotta keep getting juicy you know that's my goal for throughout the summer i'm not you know i leaned out a little bit um some of you guys probably hadn't noticed that leaned out a little bit for the last uh couple months and then i you know i'm kind of back into a a building phase here so i'm trying to get thick you know what i mean Anyways, guys, I appreciate the love. If you liked the video, like the video, make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna try to, I'm um, gonna to strive to put out more long form content and build this YouTube community out a little bit, just with vlogs, just as a way of documenting my journey, the journey of, of life, not to get too, you know, uh, spiritual and shit, man, but um, it'd be nice to, to look back at these moments later on in life with loved ones and, you know, who knows, um, and have been able to capture uh, a lot of these memories is uh, priceless. Anyways, much love. I'll see you guys in the next one.